Hi guys, welcome to the short tutorial about how to use the GP4Win to encrypt and decrypt files with just a password and not with the public and private key. The problem is that I haven't found any information on the internet. There was not even a tutorial on YouTube and also when you go to the uh, official information of this tool you can't find anything about that so this is the reason why I wanted to make this video of course you can use public key and private key to do that but maybe it's too complicated you don't want to do that you you are afraid that you lose your keys and this is definitely something to consider and hence also for me this was the reason why i'm using this just with a password uh, it's possible but it's not so easy i mean it's actually very easy but you have to know uh, how this really works so by the way, the official website is gp4win.org. Looks a little bit uh, strange. Uh, when, when I was here first time, I almost thought yeah, this is uh, a scammer site or so, but it's definitely not. It's the official site. You don't have to be afraid to download it from here, then install. And then of course, what you get is everything in the background to encrypt and decrypt and also this Cleopatra which is basically the uh, graphical user interface and this helps a lot because otherwise it's very difficult to uh, use. What you also get is this context menu on the file explorer. I'm going to show that as well. Here I have a test file test directory where I have a file which I want to encrypt and decrypt using a simple password you can see when i double click on that it's a normal text file with two words test test that's it and so i want to uh, encrypt that so we can upload it let's say to a cloud server where we don't know what's going to happen uh, who is going to have access and so always when we have personal information i mean this is of course not personal information but uh, imagine there would be personal information in here we want to have it encrypted so we can download it again and then decrypt and then use it for ourselves so after installing and opening the cleopatra by the way what we also have to know when we go to the bottom here here on the right side there's this uh, system tray and after the start of the system the thing will always be uh, running in the background you can see it's all about Cleopatra you can close it or, or, I mean shut down or whatever uh, this is also important to know now when we want to encrypt a file using a password we can do that here there's a file and we have both options here to sign encrypt and verify decrypt but it's easier of course to do it in the file explorer so i move this uh, out of the way and we are using the right click here and we have this uh, new option here sign and encrypt and because we don't have a public key and private key it automatically uh, checks the option here to encrypt with a password that's exactly what we want click on encrypt and then it comes up with and asks us for a password i'm using one two three four one two three four definitely not recommended but it's just for this test here this is the password which you want to use we have to remember this so if you want to like say download it from the cloud server and open it again you have to remember this password but it's much easier than to have like your public key and private key uh, somewhere stored so okay we click on okay and then of course it brings up a warning because it's a very short key i'm saying take this anyway usually i recommend to use a loan password of course and so it's finished already and what we see now we have two files we have the uh, normal the original file and, and we have also the gpg file here so what we do we delete this original uh, file here so we have just the encrypted file and now we want to decrypt and it automatically changes to decrypt instead of encrypt so there's some logic already running in the background and it realized that it's an encrypted file so it gives us only the option to decrypt and we are using that and we can say okay save it and uh, with this the output folder which is the same folder as we are already in that's perfect and now we can click on save all and as you have seen we haven't entered a password that's pretty crazy and you would expect that it will ask for a password 
and you can see in real life now no it doesn't and it just creates the original file again and we can read it and so maybe you think okay it's not working but i can tell you it's definitely working the problem is just that it is storing the password somewhere i mean i can show you that when we use the encrypted file we can uh, copy that and I rename it to the text file, but it's still the encrypted version. When we open that, you can see uh, you can't read that. So the encryption definitely worked, but how is it regarding your password? This looks a little bit scary, and I was really wondering what's going on. And I can tell you, even when we closed the thing, I, I was thinking, okay, maybe it's just in like a, in a temporary storage in, in the RAM. And so when we delete the thing and uh, decrypt it again, then it would come up and ask for the password. But I can tell you, yeah, now it's opening this thing here. I don't know why it did that. Let's try this again. Yeah, okay, we have it in the background. I see, didn't see that. Sorry, my bad. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, we have this test file again and we didn't have to use our password even after shutting down this process here in the background. So it looks like it's storing the password really like in a database or something like that without asking us. This is a, a, a bit crazy. I mean, crazy. I mean, usually nobody can steal that and uh, nobody will have access to that. But still, it's a little bit like, I would say, intransparent. It would have been very nice if they gave us uh, like an option, say, okay, use the stored password or apply uh, the password or, or whatever. So how can we really test that, that it has been using the password, which it has been stored locally here? So what I'm going to do here just for you is to uninstall here this uh, GP4Win. I'm going to really uninstall this for you uh, to show you that it really uh, was using the uh, stored password. So I remove this thing, download it. No, I have it already download, but of, uh, after uh, rebooting, I have to reinstall it again. So I have finished the uninstalling and then I have rebooted my PC. This is important to get rid of everything. Now I have downloaded the install file from the website for the GPG for Win. I double click and then I install it again. Take some time. Click on yes, next. And by the way, for installation, I recommend to use this thing. This is perfect to use this uh, these options and then we install it wherever you want to install it and the installation is ready we click on next you want to run cleopatra which is again the graphical user interface and as you can see we have it here and here we are back in this directory where we have this gpg version the encrypted version of this text file and i make a copy again and rename it to text file again. So we are basically working like virtually on a new computer regarding this tool, regarding the encryption. So we are like uh, in the same situation as somebody is who had access to your file. And so when we rename it, we can see, okay, it's still encoded. We can't see the original text, also not here. There's no way we can access this text. And now we right click on it and it realizes that it's uh, encrypted. So it asks us if we want to decrypt. And of course, yeah, we want to do that. And it will open this part here. And now it's asking us for the password. And so if somebody has stolen your file, they don't know the password. So they will just enter some random uh, numbers and characters, whatever. And they click on OK. And what happening is that they get an answer. Decryption failed bad passphrase and they can't do anything with that so we have definitely proof that it is encrypted and even when it gets stolen nobody can do anything with this file here uh, only you can decrypt it again when you have the right password you remember we had the one two three 
4. I can prove you that here. We had the 1, 2, 3, 4. We click on OK. We click on Save All. And now we get this new file again. We can double click and we have the test test again. So this is how it works. I mean, I know a lot of people are using this with the public key and private key. But if you just want to use this with your with a password, which is much easier, which is the way I'm also going to use it just with a password, then it definitely works Look, looks a little bit difficult or scary at the moment when you're using it for the first time you encrypt it and then you want to decrypt and it doesn't ask for a password you think okay maybe it's not safe or what's happening i can tell you it's very safe absolutely nothing to fear it's a really nice thing you have a lot of options you have even the option to uh, encrypt uh, folders and, and many files in one. So it's a really good thing. I can highly recommend it. It's open source uh, based on the original PGP. So very good option. And so again, you can download it here from the GPG for win.org. This is absolutely safe. And then you can use it to encrypt and decrypt uh, your files just with a password or of course public keys and private keys if you want. Uh, but you have both options. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or other suggestions, opinion, whatever you have, please write everything down into the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.